what's happening here is that this is such a massive life transformation, whatever this is for you guys, okay? There is something crucial, crucial, crucial that is going to happen, and you need to be alert. All of your spidey senses need to be on alert. You need to be watching for signs, synchronicities, gut feelings, introductions to people, doors that are opening, doors that are closing. You need to be really, really conscious of all of this, okay? The Empress, you need to be using your intuition. You need to be using your mind to see clearly what the situation is at all times, okay? Because there's a super important opportunity that's coming to you that is going to elevate your life, elevate your spirituality. If your free will will choose the spiritual path, the spiritual path is going to take you to the desires of your heart. Hey, Taurus, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's up? What's up, guys? What's going on? What's happening? All right. Are we ready to do a checkup? Are we ready to do a check-in, a check-up, a check-in, a check-out? Let's see what's happening for Taurus. Right on. It's been about, I don't know, what's it been? Five weeks, maybe? Look at that. Death in reverse. Trying to show itself. Taurus, what is going on, Taurus? What is going on? While you're watching this video, I want you to feel it right here, right here in your chest, right? Really seek and search for the information that you're looking for. However, I must tell you, you can watch YouTube tarot till you're blue in the face, but it's not going to give you the answers to the questions, the wisdom and the guidance that you need. The only way to know your real story is to have your own cards read. And that's just the God's honest truth. All right. This is general. It's for the planetary placements that are in the sign of Taurus. And based on where those planets are in your chart is how what is happening universally is going to affect your life. You understand? Like if you have Taurus in the eighth house, Taurus in the first house, right? Taurus sun. It all depends so the only way to know is to have your own cards read. Anyway, anywho, we are going to six cups in reverse. We are going to throw down for Taurus. So buckle up. Come on in. Sit down. Get you a blanket. Put your feet up. Get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Kick back. Put your earbuds in. Cast it up on the big screen if you want to. Go outside. Take a smoke break. Right? Put the earbuds in. We're going to, uh, we're going to dive into something here. Something's cooking. I can feel it. I can feel it. Hereford in reverse. I can feel it. Something's cooking. All right, Taurus. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to clarify them and confuse the heck out of you. Okay. But I'm going to sew together a story. And at the end, I will read it for you fluidly. Unless it happens otherwise. And sometimes it does. All right, Taurus, let's do it. Spirit. Ooh, the Hierophant in reverse again. What is up with that? What is up with that? All right, Spirit, I hear you. I hear you. Ooh, the Nine of Wands in reverse and the Six of Wands. All right. All right. I'm not going to have to go the big spiel that I normally do because they're popping and they're ready to pretty much go. So just bear with me for a second, Spirit. Spirit. Source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. Spirit and Taurus wants to know what you know. What's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their best and highest good? Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring Taurus the information that they need to that they need to know and understand. Spirit, please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is you're going to say in these cards. Tell me where the stopping point is. I'll cut three times and pull straight from the top right there. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. Can you see up there? All right, let's go. One two and three one two and three bottom of the deck judgment some kind of very serious very big decision 
All right, you know what? I'm gonna pull this off for the bottom and I am going to set it right up here as a topper for this reading, okay? I don't wanna forget about that. All right, first card out, the Princess of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action, undelivered promises. The sun, seeing something clearly, happiness, success, vitality. The King of Swords in reverse. Um, manipulation, angry, irresponsibility. Six of Swords in reverse, baggage, stuck. The Chariot in reverse, not putting in some kind of effort. The Two of Swords, you're at a crossroads. Two of Cups in reverse for the loss of some kind of relationship or some kind of imbalance in a relationship. The Queen of Pentacles in the center of your reading. You or some kind of central figure in your life. To the Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of some kind of prosperity. The star in reverse, not purposeful. Something's not purposeful and you're disconnected from guidance. Death in reverse. We got to change this. We need a personal transformation. Three of cups in reverse. Third party situation. Third party interference. The queen of cups. Right underneath that queen of pentacles, which is right underneath that king of swords, interestingly enough. Um, could be you. Could be someone else. The Nine of Wands in reverse. Hesitant, defensive, the Six of Wands. Success. I knew there was two there. Ooh, the Tower. Implosion, explosion, Prince of Swords in reverse. A disregard for consequences or illogical thinking, which is a disregard for consequences, right? The Six of Cups, justification usually for a disregard for consequences. Six of Cups in reverse. Stuck in the past unrealistic to reconcile some kind of differences seven of wands a challenge eight of pentacles work five of pentacles insecurity the hangman in reverse resistance and the nine of pentacles independence and self-sufficiency all right let's just see what's coming two of wands in reverse to the two of pentacles so a set of deuces right there two of wands to the two of pentacles in in reverse the fool in reverse foolish Three of Pentacles in reverse, Justice in reverse, the Moon in reverse, the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Princess of Cups in reverse, the Four of Swords in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse, to the Ace of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. Wow. Stuck. I'm going to try to end on a positive. Oh, there we go. Let's see what that what comes before that Six of Pentacles. Manifestation, Six of Pentacles, blockage with the wheel. That's where we'll stop. Okay. That's where we'll stop. All right. I feel it. Whoa, that's a lot of cards, huh? Good grief, y'all. Okay, what is going on here? So, the Princess of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action, undelivered promises, dishonesty, perhaps someone not speaking the truth to you. The sun, to see things clearly. I want to know, oh, look, wait, look at that. The sun is on the bottom of my clarifying deck right there, too. Interesting. So, Spirit, tell me what the Emperor in reverse. All talk, no action, undelivered promises, the Emperor in reverse to the Page of Wands. Interesting. So, someone wants to start something with you, and it's bullshit so far is what I got. All right, Taurus, here we go. It's important to remember that this is a general reading, and the only way to know your real story is to have your own cards read. Okay, Taurus, this is what's going on, okay? This is what's going on. So, 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 so. Oh, good grief. That goes on top of the devil in reverse. Okay, so the first card out, is the Princess of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action, undelivered promises, right? That's the first card out. It sets the tone for the whole reading. So this whole reading is about, I think, doubt, okay? Let me back up. Bottom of the deck was judgment, some kind of conscious cognitive decision that is based on the framework that you build your life upon. Okay, and by that, I mean this, this, this course of action that you choose to take in the judgment card is a course of action 
that is going to either elevate your life or not. Okay. The last card out in this entire huge gigantic spread is the wheel of fortune. Divine orchestration is trying to take place in your life. And whether this divine orchestration takes place or not depends on your decision in the judgment card. Okay. Now let's, let's unwrap all of the details about it. Okay. All talk, no action, undelivered promises with the princess of swords in reverse. What's this about? Well, the card that came after it is the emperor in reverse. This is, um, controlling the emperor in reverse is obviously the opposite of the emperor in the upright, right? He has no integrity. He's never going to change. He's probably spoiled or temper tantra, temper tamper, temper tantrum ish in some kind of way. Um, but he, this person, he masculine, the emperor, right? Um, he is, uh, the root of this problem here. Three of swords comes on top of him and says, there is grief and sorrow and pain associated with this person. Page of wands. But there is, there is an opportunity for you in the page of wands. The page of wands is about exploration, discovery, excitement, right? It's new. It's fresh. There is an opportunity, a new, fresh, new, mind you, fresh opportunity that is going to present itself to you somehow, some way. And it has to do with the two of cups, which is some kind of unified partnership somehow, some way. Is it love? Possibly. Is it money? Could be. Is it family? Maybe. Is it friends? Could be. But something, there is something that is going to, to, you're going to have an opportunity to procure some kind of curiosity in a situation. And I think a message might be coming to you. Now, what's the problem is that we're hung up on all talk, no action, undelivered promises and asshole or asshole S that won't change. And the three of swords, there's grief and sorrow and pain associated with this situation or circumstance or person in your life. And I think this is from the past. So you have some residual issues, right? But there is an opportunity going to be presented to you where you can join in union um, in the beginning stages, being a two, join in union of some kind of emotional exchange, okay? the moon struggling with the subconscious what's in the subconscious well it's the all talk no action the grief the sorrow the pain the the whole no thanks thing right struggling in the subconscious what's the subconscious here well the subconscious is always a struggle between what we already know we need to do and what it is that we could do weighing our options against what it is that we know that we should do and oftentimes talking ourselves our ego talking us out of where spirituality and intuition should be direct in the show right that's the moon card okay struggling with the subconscious fighting between the ego and the spiritual right i hope this stays on up there focusing between the ego and the spiritual ace of pentacles in reverse if you don't if you don't take action with this with this page of of wands right here and the two of cups if you don't recognize this if you don't take action the ace of pentacles in reverse says it's going to be a missed opportunity the devil in reverse says that you need to release your limiting beliefs because this holding on to of the the grief sorrow pain it's all the same nobody's ever going to change or maybe this person's never going to change all of that is an attachment that's a restriction to your growth and it's toxic to your life. The devil in reverse says, release those beliefs to the strength card. When you release those beliefs, you will be strengthened to see and acknowledge the divine orchestration that's trying to take place in your life. Okay. All right. The sun 
Spirit is trying to lead you towards your heart's desire. Okay? Spirit is trying to lead you towards happiness, success, and vitality. They truly are. They truly are. That's why they are concerned over here that you're going to miss the boat because you're you're too consumed with the the no thanks mentality, right? Been there, done that, really not interested in doing it again, right? And spirit says that, that whatever, love, money, business, family, whatever, right? But spirit says if you hold on to that rooted negativity, you may miss a very important opportunity. Spirit's trying to lead you towards happiness, success, and vitality. The Five of Swords in reverse. They want you to let go of the resentment. Page of Swords in reverse of the all talk, no action, undelivered promises bullshit. To the Hierophant, when it comes to commitment, when it comes to contracts, when it comes to this situation, they're trying, the Taurus right there in the Hierophant, right? Taurus needs to use some spiritual discernment let go of the past so a new opportunity can present itself, but not a new opportunity in, from the past. But the past is what's holding you back from a new opportunity. And the star card, reiter, the star card reiterates all that by saying the star card is about purpose. It's about an understanding that there is a universal intelligence that we don't always understand but they always know the end game that we don't. And they're constantly trying to guide our life in the best and highest direction that it can go. I mean, whether you believe it's your loved ones or God or whatever label you want to put on it, there is a thing out there that will guide you if you will allow it to. And the star is that card. Hope, faith, faith and purpose, hope that our higher power is going to point us in the direction that we need to go, having faith that, that they will point us to our purpose. That's the star card. And it's clarifying the Hierophant, which is you, Taurus, and the fundamental building blocks of who you are. But it's also saying that Spirit is trying to point you in the direction that is going to bring you the solid foundation that you need in your fundamental guts as a Taurus to be satisfied. Okay. So the star purposeful. This is a purposeful union that you are going to come into the king of swords in reverse. King of swords in reverse is about denial. It's about being angry. And I think it's about holding on to anger because the six of swords in reverse says that this is your baggage. This is why you're stuck and you can't move on and you might miss the boat over here. See, a lot of people say what's meant for you will always be yours. I don't believe that. I think what, you're, what you choose with your free will is what will be yours. That's what I believe, right? I believe that you can miss the boat. I believe that there can be golden opportunities that pass you right by because you're distracted or hung up or blocked by something in your life. So that's where I'm coming from, and this is the perspective that I have. The King of Swords in reverse is you holding on to anger, and the Six of Swords in, in reverse is your baggage. To the Six of Swords in reverse again, more baggage, stuck in baggage. King of Swords in the upright comes on top of it and says, get out of this. See this for what it is, and make a very conscious, responsible decision to do something to let this go so you can be open to be to be to be guided because right now your free will is rooted in some kind of mm, mm. you got some kind of mm going on some kind of bad taste right and spirit is saying there's an, a crucial point in your life that is coming crucial 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 point in your life that's coming and it is time to snap to it let go of the past let go of the shit that fucked you up your parents your childhood divorces husbands wives let go of it tragedies let go of it you can't carry it with you and that's what the king of swords in reverse is doing that's the baggage that keeps you stuck flip the king of swords in the upright and take action in the situation to recognize that spirit's trying to lead you somewhere. 
three of wands in reverse. This is a lack of foresight. It's obstacles to your long-term goals. What's the obstacle to your long-term goal? Holding on to this stuff that you're rooted in right here. Okay. Chariot in reverse was the next card out. This is a blockage. This is someone that is not putting in the self-control, the willpower, or the determination to do the things that need to be done in their life. Okay. It's a blockage. It can't take you forward. I asked what the root of this blockage is. It's the Four of Pentacles, self-protection. It's the Eight of Wands, movement, action, change. The Star, again, purpose. The Hermit, soul searching. The Chariot in reverse, this blockage. You can't go forward until you do this. And I'm going to explain this in just a second, okay? The Fool in reverse, foolish, naive, reckless. The Ace of Wands, there is a new beginning right around the corner. The Six of Cups in reverse, but you're stuck in the past. King of Pentacles in reverse, perhaps to a time when there was a lack of success, perhaps in a time where you were associated with some kind of controlling, domineering person or situation. Perhaps this is someone who used to hold, to hold title in your life but doesn't anymore. Okay? But there is a new opportunity right around the corner, but you're letting the past hold you back. It's foolish. The chariot says it's a blockage. The, your free will is not allowing spirit to work in your life because your free will is being executed in the ego because it's holding on to something that is not in your best interest. Boom. Period. That's what's happening here. The four of pentacles. What's the root of all of this? Self-protection. It's got to change with the eight of wands. You have to take some action. There needs to be some change to the star so you can be led to your purpose. So you can be led to where it is you need to be, even if it's for a fucking split second. If spirit wants to lead me someplace, I want to go, right? It's purposeful to the hermit. If you don't believe me, do your own soul searching. Soul searching, introspection. Ask audibly, like we're talking here. Ask Spirit to show you what it is that this is all about. For real. That's an invite right there. Right? Two of Swords, you're at a very serious crossroads. Very serious crossroads. Why? Three of Cups in reverse. Third party situation, stifled creativity. I wanted to ask about this, but I forgot. Because the three of cups is here um, in reverse is here twice. So what is the three of cups in reverse? Is this about letting go of some kind of betrayal from the past? Or is this three of cups in reverse to come in the future? What is this about? What is this about? Five of Pentacles, left out in the cold. King of Pentacles. Ten of Wands in reverse, burden and struggle. Death, ending, change, transformation. And the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Waste of time, financial setbacks, which could have happened as well to the Empress. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. So, what happened in the past... <laughs> What happened in you're at the crossroads now, right? It's it's either it's either stay in the past or move into the future, right? You can't stay here anymore. You have to choose one or the other, okay? So that's the crossroads that you're at because there's an opportunity coming, right? That and you have to make a choice whether you're going to let go of the past and move into the future or if you're going to stay in the past, okay? Three of Cups in reverse. What's the problem? Well, somebody cheated on somebody somehow, some way. There was something. Somebody got fired. Somebody got deceived somehow, some way. But there was one too many cooks in the kitchen. Five of Pentacles. You got left out in the cold. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles being, I think, you. But also, this gives me, it, it denotes a little bit to me that somebody that you held in high regard, because that's who's in reverse over here, right? Um, the Ten of Wands in reverse. Um, 
overwhelming burden. It was an overwhelming burden for you. Death, it was a complete and utter ending and a complete and utter ending. And it could have been a death to the nine of pentacles in reverse that completely knocked you off balance, totally and completely knocked you off balance to the empress. But the empress, that's you, your back. This is what's going to get you through this. Okay. All right. Two of Swords, Crossroads, Three of Cups in Reverse. That's what happened. Five of Pentacles. You got left out in the cold. You and or someone that you hold in high regard. Ten of Wands in Reverse. Um, you know what? I first interpreted that. I first interpreted that as a burden and a struggle, uh, but it's not. It's the release of a burden and a struggle, okay? To the Death card. Um, there is a transformation. There is an ending, a change, a transformation waiting for you. And right here, this is this is you deciding to do it. Nine of Pentacles in reverse because anything else would be a complete and utter waste of time. Really, it would just be a complete and utter waste of time to the Empress because you're a badass. Because you're a badass and you are about to take control of your life Take control of your future and move into your destiny. Boom, Taurus. Boom. Right there. All of it. Wow. Wow. The Empress is lesson number three of the Major Arcana, you know. Lesson number one is the Magician. Where your mind goes, your life will follow. If you can master that, you can manifest any kind of reality that you want to. Lesson number two is the High Priestess. Your intuition is always, always, always leading you to your best and highest good. It will never lead you to demise. It will always lead you to your best and highest good. Lesson number three is the Empress. That's why she's often pregnant in the tarot, I believe. It's because she understands the power of her mind and she understands the power of her intuition. And those two things together are absolutely unstoppable and she pulls them into herself and she creates a foundation by which to live her life. Through her understanding of her thoughts become her reality and her intuition is always leading her to her best and highest good. And that is where you are, Taurus. That's what this transformation is about. That's why this super important decision right here in judgment that is going to allow the universe to orchestrate divine timing in your life. It all hinges on you becoming the empress. It all hinges on, on your decision in this situation is going to either escalate your life exponentially or you are going to miss an extremely, extremely important opportunity. And whether or not you follow where spirit is leading you and you put down the ego, death to the ego, ego and spirituality are not compatible. If you put the ego down, you listen to spirit, you follow where it is that you're being led, that decision results in your rebirth, which puts you in the position of the empress understanding the two most basic principles of life and allows divine orchestration to take place. What is this? Let's see. Let's just see. Let's just see. I will drink my uh, ginger ale. Hold on a second. Mm, mm, mm. All right. I like it warm. Isn't that strange? I like warm ginger ale. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, Taurus is bossing up. Two of cups in reverse. Broken relationship. Queen of cups in reverse. Broken feelings. Devastation in the feelings, okay? The hanged man in reverse. This is the stalling and the delay. You not coming to terms with this is the stalling and the delay that is keeping this chariot blocked. Okay? 
Spirit wants to take you where you need to go in the chariot, but you have to put in the effort to make it go. What's the effort you have to put into? You've got to come to terms with some bad shit that happened to you in the past. Okay? Queen of Pentacles in the center of the reading. Could you have mommy issues? Yes, absolutely. With the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles here, for sure. For sure, you could have some mommy issues, but that's a whole nother story. Okay, Queen of Pentacles sitting in the center of the reading. This is, I do believe, you in your power. To the Six of Wands in reverse, a lack of success. Well, let's back up, okay? Queen of Pentacles sitting in your power in the center of the reading. To the Ace of Pentacles, um, the manifestation of new prosperity. The Six of Wands in reverse, lack of success, a lack of reward, Six of Wands is rooted in the ego because in the upright, it's a, a, a soldier guy coming in, right? And they're throwing a big party for him and he's victorious and he's all in his ego, right? All in his ego. In the reverse, it's death to the ego, okay? So for you to be at peace with your life, as the Queen of Pentacles is, for you to be the keeper of your well-being and doing it well, as the Queen of Pentacles is, you have to put down some kind of ego, okay? And remember what the ego decision was. It was to stay stuck in the past or not, okay? It's some kind of ego sting. The Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of new prosperity, the Four of Wands, contentment, stability, harmony, peace, the Ten of Cups, ultimate emotional fulfillment. That's where spirit's trying to take you. That's what this meeting over here is going to bring you. Star in reverse. But if you're disconnected, if you're disconnected and you don't listen, three of swords, you will miss the opportunity. And that it's about grief and sorrow, right? But to me right now, what it's saying is that you will miss the opportunity. It's unpurposeful for you to miss the opportunity. If you're disconnected, you're going to miss the opportunity. The Eight of Pentacles could be an opportunity about work, could be an opportunity about money. Eight of Pentacles also is about... Uh, somebody's knocking on my door. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. Everybody, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. This is also about working out your issues, right? Because what he's done here in this card is he's worked it out, right? He started with the first one and he goes all the way down and now he's working on his eighth one, right? And he's worked out the issues and he's mastering his craft. So what this is saying is work this out so you don't miss this opportunity. Four of Cups in reverse. Don't be apathetic. Death in reverse. There is a massive personal transformation that needs to take place inside of you. The Ten of Swords, all the pain, the sorrow, the grief of this whole, whatever this thing is that you're holding on to right here, right? The deception, the betrayal, the Emperor in reverse again, right? Whoever this asshole person was, male or female, King of Wands in reverse, this egocentric, self-centered person. But what this King of Wands also is telling me, it's reiterating to me, it's amplifying to me that this is indeed about your own ego, okay? To the Seven of Cups, options, choices, decisions. As you look into your future, you at the crossroads have options and choices that you need to make. And the personal transformation with death in reverse needs to be that you leave this behind. Perhaps this is the kind of guy that you attract. The three of cups in reverse. Third party situation. Stifled creativity. The seven of cups again. Options, choices, decisions, confusion. The page of cups. To the world in reverse. This, I need to work out right here. What is the Page of Cups? What is the Page of Cups? Well, it's not meant for your future with the Two of Wands. And it's the High Priestess in reverse. It's ignoring something. It's ignoring something. Three of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm.
Oh, hell yeah. Look what's going on here. Old El Diablo's in the house. Okay. All right. All right, Taurus, this takes a twist here now, okay? It takes a twist, it takes a turn, okay? It takes a twist, it takes a turn. So, so, okay. So death in reverse, the personal transformation, right? The pain, the sorrow, the grief from someone who did you wrong. Someone someone did do, 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 do you wrong. These cards are absolutely acknowledging that. If you need validation from the universe, you got it right there. Someone did you wrong. Okay? Someone did you wrong. Seven of Cups. What are you going to choose for your future, though? That's the question. What are you going to choose for your future? Are you going to choose to stay stuck in the past? Are you going to choose to keep attracting the same kind of people? Are you going to choose to stand in your power as the empress and follow your destiny? That's the question. That's what it boils down to is where are you going to execute your free will? Three of cups in reverse. Third party situation stifled creativity. The page of cups. This is um, some kind of emotional creation. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to explain. The high priestess in reverse something being kept from you, the two of wands in reverse, not for your future, and the world in reverse, not for your future. This is what's going on here, okay? So you have this pain from the past, and I think what's happening here is that this is such a massive life transformation, whatever this is for you guys, okay? There is something crucial, crucial, crucial that is going to happen, and you need to be alert. All of your spidey senses need to be on alert. You need to be watching for signs, synchronicities, gut feelings, introductions to people, doors that are opening, doors that are closing. You need to be really, really conscious of all of this, okay? The Empress, you need to be using your intuition. You need to be using your mind to see clearly what the situation is at all times, Okay, because there's a super important opportunity that's coming to you that is going to elevate your life, elevate your spirituality. If your free will will choose the spiritual path, the spiritual path is going to take you to the desires of your heart. Okay, God's honest truth. Okay, however, Holding on to this past thing right here that has some kind of root, some kind of hook in you, okay? When you are about to have a spiritual breakthrough, a spiritual breakover, a spiritual elevation, a growth of some sort, okay? The other side gets all upset about it because their job is to keep you distracted so you don't become awakened. So you can't do what it is that you came here to do. So they get all busy over there and they will use your own subconscious blockages as stumbling blocks in your life to keep you distracted from going to where you're supposed to go. Okay. That is what happens here. So spirits trying to get you to go in the direction of your best and highest good. And there is an opportunity that comes in, okay? Third-party situation, stifled creativity, the Seven of Cups, options, choices, decisions, the Page of Cups, okay? Okay, so this third-party situation right here with the three of cups. It's the same thing that's over there. It's whatever happened in your life where someone else was there that shouldn't have been there. And it caused some kind of upset, big, huge upset in your life. And it created some kind of emotional wounding for you. Okay. Spirit, tell me what the root of this three of cups is. What is Okay, well, the alchemist in reverse, for sure, an inability to manifest, 
and the six of pentacles. Okay. So the an inability to manifest the six of pentacles, the giving and receiving and sharing in the prosperity of life, the three of cups in reverse. Um, this is the all talk, no action thing that we talked about way in the beginning. Okay. Your options, your choices, your decisions. Are you, what do you, how, how are you going to handle this? The page of cups. Okay. There is someone that is bringing you some kind of a message to the high priestess in reverse, but it is full of trickery to the two of wands in reverse. It's not meant for your future, the world in reverse. It is a blockage to your life and it is not, not, not meant for your future. Let us go with that. Okay. Okay. So while you are trying to assume the posture of the Empress and go through this transformation and choose the spiritual path, there is a, an, an opportunity that is presented to you that is not this opportunity. It is a stumbling block that will take you off track. Okay? So you have this original golden spiritually orchestrated opportunity that is going to take you to the next chapter of your life. But you're holding on to something from the past that you have to let go of. You get a false start here by engaging with someone that is not the person that you should be engaging with or the situation that you should be engaging with. Okay. Okay. The queen of cups, what spirit says is to be honest and fair with yourself and your emotions, be in touch with your intuition and your feelings and use that part of you to feel your way through this situation. The eight of cups in reverse. This is walking away. Walking away from what? The devil. The other side's getting busy. The other side doesn't want you to step over this threshold into a deeper awakening. They want to keep you distracted. Bah, bah, bah. They want to keep you distracted. They don't want you to grow because you're a threat. And you might take someone with you. The devil. El Diablo in the house. To the page of pentacles in reverse. This is why you cannot manifest. Can't manifest because there's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. And it is directly related to something that has happened in your past that you will not let go of. The Nine of Wands in reverse. Defend yourself. Be defensive. Be hesitant to engage with this over here. Six of Wands, because victory, progress, and success is yours. The Two of Cups, Spirit wants to introduce you to someone. To the Ace of Cups. And it's going to be possibly a new beginning in love. Possibly an extremely emotional, fulfilling union of some sort. The tower. Upheaval. Chaos. The queen of pentacles in reverse. Ungrounded. Prince of swords in reverse. Illogical. Six of cups in reverse to stay in the past. Seven of wands. Your challenge is... The Eight of Pentacles to build and go forward. Five of Pentacles. Insecure. Insecure. Left out in the cold. Don't want that again. Hangman in reverse. This is the reason. This is the delay. This is what is stopping this beautiful, beautiful thing you got going on here. Nine of Pentacles. Stand in your power. Stand in your power. Take control of your life and your situation. To the two of wands in reverse. Don't take this into your future. The two of pentacles. Balance it out. The fool in reverse. Anything else would be foolish. 
the three of pentacles in reverse, a lack of teamwork, a lack of cooperation, <laughs> a lack of teamwork, a lack of collaboration, not appreciating what someone else is bringing to the table. Justice in reverse is an injustice. What is this about? What is this about? What is the injustice? What is the injustice? The eight of cups, disappointment, abandonment. What is the injustice? The six of cups. The injustice is the disappointment that you hold inside of yourself about the past. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, wish I would have. That's, that's the injustice in your life. And it's also a lack of accountability, justice in reverses. A lack of accountability to what? Well, your life and your journey. Yeah, the three of pentacles in reverse is the same as this three of cups in reverse. I mean, I don't know why, but I just thought about step parents and a step family. Maybe you are the mother, the father, or the child, and there is just... Anyway, anyway, it's foolish to stay in this. It's foolish to stay stuck in the past. It absolutely is. Where are my cards? Was that the last of it? Injustice, Eight of Cups, the Six of Cups. Really? Yeah. Wow. All right, then. For real, though? All right. Anything else that needs to be said here, Spirit? Five of Swords. Resentment. Holding on to resentment. The Prince of Cups in reverse. Holding on to hurt feelings. What else? What else? What else? What else, Spirit? What else? The Seven of Swords. Futility. Betrayal. Deception. Holding on to all of that. The Queen of Swords, right? Be decisive. Be responsible. See the truth of the situation. Make a decision and move on it. Act on it. Princess of Cups in reverse or don't. And have a creative block and stay stuck in your past. And waste a beautiful opportunity to change your life, to improve your life, to transform your life somehow, some way. Prince of Wands in reverse, right? to frustrations, delays. There's that three of pentacles again. Yeah, there's some kind of three something temperance healing. Interesting. Well, there you go, Taurus. This is uh, you. Oh yeah. Look, look at that injustice again. You're blocking yourself. The wheel of fortune. Spirit wants to move. Spirit wants to move in your life. The other side's getting a little nervous about it. They're going to send something into you that is not in your best interest. It's, it's not. What's in your best interest is to let go of the past, be cognizant and conscious and on point with your intuition, manifest spiritual movement in your life, right? Assume the power of the Empress so there can be a massive transformation in your life. Make a good decision for your next step in your journey. The next step of your journey is right here. You're going to meet someone. You're going to be introduced to someone. A situation is going to materialize for you. And you can't hold on to some kind of negative past mentality because it's a blockage in your life. And as you begin to transform and step into your power as the empress, the other side says, whoa, 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 whoa. And they send some, some fuck boy or fuck girl into your life to take you off track. That's true. That's exactly what's happening. That's exactly what's happening. If it's a job situation, you're headed for this job and then some, some, some fly by night thing comes along and they're like, Hey man, we can make like five grand in a day. If you want to really work this and you go away from this and you go towards that disastrous, right? So stay on point, listen to your intuition, 
there is a massive, massive change about to happen in your life and it's going to reap great prosperity on you. However, let go of your past. Let it go. Let it go. It's a cancer. Just let it go. Look out for this false start thing because it's a new, a new thing and you're like, oh, maybe this is it. It's not. Okay. It's toxic. Let it go. Make a good decision. Be accountable. Don't stay stuck in the past. It's an injustice to your life and it's a lack of accountability for your journey. Stand in your power. Work your shit out with the Eight of Pentacles. Stop being stuck in the past and embrace the fact that spirit wants to divinely orchestrate the path to your best and highest good. Namaste. Oh, if you want your cards read, you can hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com. Namaste.